everyone. Welcome to Live Interactive English. This is Karen. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. This is Shane. Today we're looking at day two of the many faces of Cape Blanchett, and the vocabulary words are eventually. Eventually. I thought I'd lost the key, but I eventually found it under the couch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> memorable. Memorable. Today has been quite a memorable day. I haven't had this much fun in years. Really? Yes. <laughs> comedy. Comedy. I'd rather not see something serious. So let's see a comedy. Okay. <laughs> Awareness. Awareness. This ad is meant to raise awareness of climate change. Refugee. Refugee. Thousands of refugees have left the country in search of safer places. So we're still talking about Kate Blanchett, right? Right. So she's been acting forever. Has she ever won any awards, like an yes. Oscar? Or... Yes. She actually won her first Oscar、yeah. when she played the actress. Catherine Hepburn. Oh, that's right. Right. Yeah, and also she got a Golden Globe, right? That's right. For playing Queen Elizabeth the First、ah, in the movie Elizabeth. That's right. right.、Yeah. But why are we talking about Kate Blanchett this month? <gasps> I think I know. New movie. It, it, have you ever seen Ocean's Eleven, Ocean's Twelve? You know, like George Clooney. It's got like all of like those really handsome. Yes, Brad Pitt. Actors,、Hicks. right? Yes. And they all go, and they—it's like a bank heist movie, right? That's right. But、ah. this one, the new movie coming、yeah. out, it has Kate Blanchett in it,、yeah. and along with it's called Ocean's Eight, by the way. That means there's going to be eight women in it, That's right? That's right. Yeah. So the other one's Ocean's Eleven. They're all men.、Mm -hmm. So Ocean's Eight's going to be all women, like Sandra Bullock. And then there's going to be Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway. Rihanna. Rihanna. Wow. So、and、quite a, a few. Huge cast. It's going to be really interesting. I'm looking forward to that movie. Me too. Okay,、cool. don't forget Ocean's Eight. Cool. Okay, and we'll see you next time. Okay, enjoy. The many faces of Kate Blanchett. Blanchett's talent was such that she immediately began landing a steady stream of stage and television roles. Her first major feature role came in 1997 with Paradise Road. And the following year, she received her first Oscar nomination and a Golden Globe win for her role as Queen Elizabeth I in Elizabeth. Blanchett would eventually win her first Oscar for her portrayal of actress Catherine Hepburn in 2004's *The Aviator*. Welcome to Live Interactive English Magazine. Today's lesson is called "The Many Faces of Kate Blanchett." Day two. Hi, everyone. My name is Jeff, and I'm Mike, and we're continuing our look at the talented Australian actress Kate Blanchett. She started off in school having a bit of an interest in acting, and that developed through university until she graduated from a very top art school or drama school, I should say, in Australia. And then she was off. So let's start reading and find out what happened in the early stages of her career. Okay, folks. Let's start reading. The first sentence of today's lesson says Blanchett's talent was such that she immediately began landing a steady stream of stage and television roles. So she didn't move to Los Angeles and stay on someone's couch for a couple of years. She started working immediately. That's right. Her first major feature role came in 1997. With Paradise Road, and the following year, she received her first Oscar nomination and a Golden Globe win for her role as Queen Elizabeth I in Elizabeth. That's pretty amazing to get an Oscar nomination so early in your career. But having seen the movie Elizabeth, I recommend you watch it. I can see why. Fantastic movie, and she's just great in it. Yeah, some people wait an entire lifetime、mm -hmm. before they're nominated for an Oscar or win an Oscar.、Mm -hmm. After graduating from university, there, Blanchett waited five years. Yeah, five years from 1992 to 1997, and she was already an Oscar-nominated actress. Amazing. Anyways, Blanchett. That wasn't the end of things for no, her.、No. Blanchett would eventually win her first Oscar for her portrayal of actress Catherine Hepburn in 2004's *The Aviator*. I should say. Now, here we've got the adverb "eventually" to talk about. Here, the word "eventually" means in the end, after much ado, after a long period of time, so on, so forth. Yes, in the end, 
She would win her first Oscar. In 1997, she was nominated for that Oscar. Her first Oscar nomination did not result in a win, but in 2004, because of The Aviator and her portrayal of actress Katherine Hepburn, she got on the map as an Oscar winner. Anyways, let's take a look at an example sentence for the adverb eventually. I thought I'd lost the key, but I eventually found it under the couch. I had to search for a long time, but Sounds in the end, good. I eventually found it. Good. Lucky. I feel, I, I feel very lucky. I feel very fortunate, though. I'm probably not as lucky as far as uh, acting is concerned as mm -hmm. Kate Blanchett is. Well, They call me a hack. Really? A ham, a ham oh, even. Oh, yeah. well, come on. You're underselling yourself. We'll, we'll take a you. quick break. We'll celebrate Jeff's key, right. and we'll be back very soon. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。凯特·布兰奇是一位澳洲女演员，她的演技很早就开始展露光芒。那她在大学时期去埃及旅行，碰巧得到一个电影角色，那从此就下定决心要演戏。当她回到澳洲之后，她有到澳洲国立戏剧艺术学院就读。那毕业之后就准备开始大放异彩。课文提到说，凯特·布兰奇她的天分非常高，很快就开始持续稳定地得到舞台和电视剧的角色。那她拿到了第一个主要电影角色是出现在一九九七年《火线服生物》这个电影。那么隔年呢，她就在《伊丽莎白》这部电影里面饰演伊丽莎白一世，用这个角色得到奥斯卡奖的提名，然后还有得到金球奖哦。后来在二零零四年《神鬼玩家》这部电影中，他的角色让他拿下第一座奥斯卡奖。好，这边有一个单字 eventually， eventually， 它是副词，表示终于或是最后，意思跟 in the end 差不多。那 Jeff 老师谈到说。在演戏这方面啊，他完完全全比不上凯特·布兰奇。人家说他是 ham， ham 在这边不是指火腿哦，而是指蹩脚演员，也就是用来指表演过头啊、演技夸张、演技差的演员。好，接回到课文中。The many faces of Kate Blanchett. Blanchett has also had her share of roles in films that have become part of pop culture. One of her most memorable characters was the royal elf Galadriel in the Lord of the Rings movies. More recently, she played Hela, the goddess of death, in Thor Ragnarok, in which she performed her own stunts. Audiences are now looking forward to seeing her this month in heist comedy Ocean's Eight. Everyone, before we move on, we've got to make a correction here. Earlier, I said. That she waited five years、mm -hmm. to get an Oscar nomination. She was not nominated for that Oscar in 1997. She got her first major role in 1997. She was nominated for her first Oscar in 1998, the year <gasps> after 1997, and then later on she won an Oscar for her portrayal of Catherine Hepburn. In the aviator, I can't believe you lied to us. I didn't lie. I'm an English teacher. I'm not good at math. It's one year what can, difference. What can you? She do? won an Oscar at a very early stage of her career.、Yeah. That's the important thing. She's pretty good.、Thing. She's pretty good. And then, of course, she actually won the Oscar in 2004 for the Aviator. But both of these movies, Elizabeth, the Aviator, great movies, but not exactly popular movies, right? You didn't have millions of theaters showing、okay. these movies at the same time. I sense、They're、kind of. I sense you want to talk about pop culture right now. Well, pop culture films. Well, don't worry. Yeah. Blanchett, Kate、sure. Blanchett, has also had her share of roles in films that have become part of pop culture. Absolutely.、So、there you go. She knows to have fun. It's not all serious stuff with her career. One of her most memorable characters was the royal elf Galadriel. Say what? Galadriel、Ooh. in the Lord of the Rings movies. Actually, she was quite Galadriel is quite a serious character in that movie. But you know, the Lord of the Rings, a little bit more fun, action, adventure, fantasy, all of that stuff, and of course, really popular. And so, for a lot of fans, this is one of her more memorable characters or more memorable roles. Memorable, basically, as you can notice, is related to the word memory, and it's an adjective. Memorable is just talking about something that's notable, that's easily. Remembered that will stick in your mind, in your memories for a very long time. You can have a memorable holiday, a memorable meeting with someone, or just a memorable year because so many interesting and exciting things happened. For example, today has been quite a memorable day. I haven't had this much fun in years. I watched all of Kate Blanchett's movies from beginning to end. 
Wow, you see, binge watched all of Kate Blanchett's movies in one sitting. Amazing, that does sound memorable. It sounds like something you'll never ever forget. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on. The next sentence says, more recently she played Hela, the goddess of death in Thor Ragnarok, in which she performed her own stunts. So not only is she a chameleon, she's also a bona fide daredevil. So there you have it, she's a daredevil. She could have died multiple times while making this movie. She performed her own stunts. Oh, I see. She and performed she her own. did them well, yeah. Wow, amazing. And I'm sure she's going to be performing some stunts in her next movie because it's also an action adventure. It says audiences are now looking forward to seeing her this month in heist comedy Ocean's 8. Absolutely. We know it's a comedy because it says it's a comedy. A heist comedy, well, a heist is kind of like when you rob a bank yes. or some kind of complicated crime that involves a, a plan and a lot of different people doing different things. I imagine they're robbing a bank. And the other Ocean's Eleven movie, which had George Clooney and Brad Pitt, they robbed a big casino of millions of dollars. But that was kind of a comedy, more of an action so we'll see how much comedy mm -hmm. comes out in Ocean's 8. Seeing Kate Blanchett in a comedy movie will be actually kind of a, a, a treat. Because mm -hmm. she yep. normally does serious stuff. Yes, that's true. By the way, a comedy, guys, mm. is a piece of entertainment <laughs> that is supposed to make you <laughs> laugh. A comedy movie is a funny movie. By the way, the, the word comedy is a noun. Mike's not actually laughing about this. The fat but man fell down. <laughs> that's what happens when you watch a comedy. Fat men very often fall down. That's and Hilarity ensues. For example, I'd rather not see something serious, so let's see a comedy. I want to laugh. All right, folks, with that, it's time for us to take a break, but don't go away. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> 那最近他还在《雷神索尔》第三集《诸神黄昏》这部片里面有饰演《死亡女神海拉》而且在这部片里面他有表演特技动作是亲自上阵哦他真的演什么就像什么那这个月观众又可以在瞒天过海八面玲
Really, a mother of four. That means she has four kids as well as doing all of this acting stuff. She is a very busy woman, and on top of that, she works as a goodwill ambassador for the United Nations, traveling around and meeting poor, disadvantaged, and troubled people all around the world. And not only all of that, there's more. She recently received an award at the World Economic Forum in Switzerland for her work in raising awareness of the Syrian refugee crisis. This could have been part of her UN work or something she did for another charity group, but she's raising awareness for the Syrian refugee crisis. Basically, people affected by the war, the terrible war in Syria. She's traveling around the world doing interviews and things like that to raise awareness. What is awareness? This noun basically means your knowledge of something. If you are aware, you know about something. So your awareness is how much you know, especially about the things that are going on today around you in the world. If you read the news every day, you're trying to increase your awareness of the important events that are going on around the world. You know about this stuff that's going on. For example, this ad is meant to raise awareness of climate change, telling people to you know not throw out plastic or clean up the beach when they go home. Just getting people to think about this kind of thing a little more. There you go. Now, before we move on, we also have to talk about the noun refugee.、Mm. What is a refugee? A refugee is a person without a country or without a homeland. Yes, often refugees have been forced to flee or to leave their homelands due to bad situations like wars or natural disasters and stuff like that. Anyways, for example, thousands of refugees have left the country in search of safer places.、Hmm, must be bad things going on there. The refugees need all the help they can get. Let's move on. We have we have a question coming up. It says, "And what big things may lie ahead for Ms. Blanchett? What does her future hold?" And it says, "The chameleon herself, or Kate Blanchett herself, says, 'I'm happiest when I don't know.'" What's coming next? So she likes to kind of have some surprises, not only in her life, but in her work, in the roles that she plays. And you know, looking back at the very different types of roles she's played over the years, you can see that she likes challenges, she likes new things, she likes surprises. So good for her, and we look forward to seeing many more of her movies in the years to come. Let's li-、uh, wrap it up with our question: Have you ever seen any of Kate Blanchett's films? And I'm betting you have. Yes. I've seen the Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou,、mm-hmm. and I thought it was fantastic because Kate Blanchett、mm-hmm. plays one of the only real strong female characters in that movie. Yes,、uh-huh. Angelica Houston is also in that movie, but she doesn't play as big a role as Kate Blanchett. So Kate Blanchett really balanced out that cast. There was Bill Murray,、mm-hmm. and Owen Wilson,、oh, and、yeah. Willem Dafoe, and、wow. Kate Blanchett as well, and she really did a great job balancing out that mo- mainly male cast. Or Mostly male cast. What was the name of that movie? One more time. The Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou. The Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou, directed by Wes Anderson. All right, write that one down. It's one you'll probably haven't seen, but you should definitely check it out. If Kate Blanchett's in it, it's got to be good, right? Well, that's it for us. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you back here very, very soon with much, much more. Until then, bye, bye. Bye, bye. 凯特·布兰奇在现实生活中，她是四个孩子的妈，她也是联合国亲善大使。那最近还因为唤起世人对叙利亚难民的关注，而在瑞士的世界经济论坛上有获颁一个奖项。这一位千面女郎，她喜欢面临各式各样的挑战。她自己就说了，她最快乐的时候就是不知道会发生什么事。我们最后来看两个单字 ：awareness。Awareness 是名词，它表示意识或是察觉或是体认。那么 refugee refugee 它表示难民或是逃亡的人。Jeff 老师来解释单字时用到 flee f l e e flee 这个动词表示逃离或是逃走。好了，那以上是今天的讲解，同学们别走开，马上回来哦。大家好，我是 Hanny。在今天的课程中，我们要介绍四个文法重点。第一个是句型 ，something be such that 主词加动词。第二个是 land 做动词，表示获得、得到。第三个是 a stream of something。第四个是 have one's fair share of something。首先。
我们来学习句型 ：Something be such that 主词加动词，这表示是如此的怎么样，以至于怎么样。其中的 such 在这边是当形容词，表示如此的、这样的。That 子句则是用来说明结果，例如 ，Emma's anger was such that she could barely speak. Emma 气到几乎说不出话来。接下来，我们来学习 land 做动词，表示获得、得到。land 当这个意思解释时，后面常常接工作或是职位。例如 ，Veronica landed a job at a top law firm. Veronica 在一间顶尖的律师事务所得到一份工作。再看个例句 ，Tim landed a role in the school play. Tim 在学校戏剧演出得到机会。那么句中的 land。Land a role. 它表示获得角色，得到演出的机会。接下来，我们来学习 a stream of something， 表示一连串的什么，接二连三的什么什么。Stream 的前方可以加入形容词修饰，像是 steady 稳定的 ，constant 接连不断的 ，endless 不断的等等。例如 ，A steady stream of customers came into the cafe while we were there. 当我们在那间小餐馆的时候，有看到稳定的客源，顾客接二连三的走进来。最后，我们来学习 have one's fair share of something， 或者是 have one's share of something， 这表示有许多的什么，遇到过多的什么。其中的 share 在这边当名词，它表示持有的一部分。Have one's share of something 就表示有许多的什么，遭遇过多的坏事，例如。Mark has had his share of financial problems since he lost his job. Mark 自从失业之后，他碰到的财务问题已经够多了。以上是今天的重点整理，我们下次见喽。See you next time. Bye.欢迎收看《旧爱讲英文》，我是悠悠。最近这个社会新闻好多抢案哦，真的。就但感觉很不安定呢。很不安定呢。那国内国外其实呢，我们在遇到抢劫，都要保持冷静。然后你要尽速报